Hey everyone, this automation is very useful for all the YouTubers here because today I'm going to show you that how to upload YouTube videos from Airtable Records automatically. So whatever the video you would like to publish on your YouTube channel, simply add its file URL, title, tags and description into the Airtable account and then connect your Airtable application with YouTube with the help of an automation software. And what will happen every time you are going to add the video details here into the Airtable, the videos will be uploaded automatically on your YouTube channel and in this way you can completely automate your YouTube video uploading task with the help of this automation and in this way you do not even have to share the access of your YouTube channel with your team members. Simply share the access of your Airtable account and whenever they are going to add the details here your video will be uploaded automatically on your YouTube channel. If you want to learn how you can do that come with me and I'll show you the whole process step by step. So this is my Airtables account and here I'm going to add the video details one by one and you will see that how the videos will be uploaded, videos will be published automatically on my channel. For that, I'll have to connect these two application and I'm going to do that with the help of Pabli Connect, which is an amazing integration and automation software and you can also reach here by typing pabli.com slash connect. I will also attach this link into my description box and if you are a new user, you will have to sign up for free in the free account of Pabli Connect, you will also get free tasks every month to test these kinds of amazing automation. I'm already an existing user of Pabli Connect. So that is why I'm clicking on sign in, clicking on access now. And this is how you can also reach out to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Now, the very first thing you'll have to do is to click on this blue button, create workflow and simply provide a random name to your workflow to your automation. So here I'm providing the name as when video details added in Airtable auto upload video on YouTube. Now click on create and you will find two boxes in front of you. Those are actually trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens, action means do this. So whenever this happens, do this. Understand with an example also. Whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application, let's say automatically send an email via Gmail application. Well here, according to our use case, whenever the video details added in a table application, auto upload the video in YouTube application. So this is how you need to always select the the applications in which you are going to set an automation and since we are setting up an automation in between Airtable and YouTube so that is why the first application here will be the Airtable and I want that whenever I'm adding a new record into the Airtable this automation should start trigger so that is why I have selected this particular trigger even now the idea here is I'm going to connect my Airtable spreadsheet with Pabli Connect so that we can capture the video details here and then we are going to send the same details to further application to YouTube application and for that it is asking for the token so you can read the instructions log into Airtable and get your API key from this particular account well I am already logged in into my Airtable account so that is why it will take me directly to that specific section where I can actually get the API key and here you can see I have my API key which I am going to copy coming back to Public Connect and I am going to paste it here and you will see my Airtable account will be immediately connected with Public connect now the very first thing it is asking to select the base so whatever the base are available into my Airtable account have started visible here since we are connected and I am going to select which particular base well I have the base name as daily YouTube videos to be published so I'm going to select the same base. Let me search for the same daily YouTube videos to be published. Second thing it is asking for the table. So I have a single table as the table one, which has got selected automatically as soon as I have selected the base. The third thing it is required, uh, it is asking for the trigger field. Okay, I'll have to read the instructions. Create a field in your table schema with the field name created and field type created type. Okay, so if you do not have a created field in your table schema, please create one that will be used to sort the records because, because without this field trigger will not work collect correctly and the instruction for the same are already given here so I'm going to create one more field with the name created and uh, this field type should be the created time okay so here is the plus icon I am going to write the name as created and the field type as per the instruction should be created time I'll click on the same now I'll select the time format as per my as per my choice I'm sorry for that and click on create field and you will see 
the field has been created now coming back to public connect and when i will refresh this particular sheet you will see that the same field will be captured automatically will be selected automatically now if i'll click on this button save and send test request you will see read the instruction this will save the values you filled above and will send the data to the selected app for processing a response will be received back once the processing is completed so whatever the details i have added inside my airtable account will be captured here immediately clicking on this button save and send test request and you can see the response is received let us check the details one by one so here we have the video title the video tags we have the file url the description thumbnail url the field created and created time let us check the details all right so i had the video file url let us check other details okay so the video title description tags thumbnail url publish video link and we have captured all the details so the presence of this data clearly shows that the first step of our automation is actually done which was connecting a table and public connect and capturing the data here now i am going to send the same data to youtube application so that i can publish the videos directly publish the videos automatically and an action event well i want to upload the video so that is why i'll search for the same well it is actually in the beta mode right now now i'll be connecting my youtube channel with public connect and again i'm already logged in into my youtube account so it will directly ask me the access of my youtube channel all right so i have provide the access clicking on continue and you will see my youtube account will be immediately connected with public connect now it is asking for the channel id the title description video url and other details which are actually required in order to publish any video okay so i am going to fill these data one by one and i don't need to manually copy this particular data and paste it here i am going to map all these fields and mapping is very simple in public connect if you will click on this button you will see the above data right here in the drop down you just need to search for that particular value that particular thing okay so i'll have to map the title so here is my title second thing it is asking for the video description again i'm going to map the description form here only and here i have the description watch this video and know how you can easily reach out to the public connecting third thing it is asking for the video file url which i am going to map again all right here is my video url where are the tags all right again i'm going to map the same all right so i have mapped the tags as well now it is asking for the category id what is this category id enter the video category id to be assigned to the video the category id can be retrieved using the list of video category section example too okay so i'll have to add one more action step as list of video categories in order to fetch my category id okay so i'll go back i'll go above and before this particular action step i'm going to introduce one more youtube action step and here i will select the action action step as list of video categories as per the instruction all right i have selected the youtube application let me search for that specific action event here is that list of video categories now i'll be connecting my youtube application once again with public connect and this time i'll go with the existing connections only because i have already made the connections it is asking for the country code since i belongs to india i'll be adding my country code which is i n and i will be clicking on this button and you will see that it will provide the category id for all the youtube category okay so here you can see for the film and animation it has the category id as one and let's say your channel belongs to the autos and vehicles category you will have to write two as the category id all right so this is how for every kind of category for every kind of industry it has already provided it has already defined category and since my channel belongs to the people and blog so i am going to search for that specific category and the peoples and blog having the category id as 2022 okay so either i can map this category id or if i want i can also manually add the specific id because this is something which is not going to change this will be fixed so how about i directly add this particular value and you must be thinking that why i am adding this category id as manually and why i have mapped the above data well uh, mapping is really important in this automation because whatever 
the details you are going to map here will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in the real time so in order to execute this automation in real time automatically we are mapping the data and that is why mapping plays an important role in Pabli connect and this is how this automation is going to take place all right it is asking for the video visibility state as well I would like to publish my video directly as a public so I'll go with the same notify subscribers well it is completely up to you whatever the settings you would like to do you can do the same and in audience I have already selected no it's not made for kids now I'll be clicking on this button save and send test request but before that I'll have to read these instructions because this is something really important so I'll be opening this help guide which they have provided and let us read the instructions first and then we are going to click on that button okay so how to upload the YouTube videos and it is showing the scenario one that if you are uploading video sizes less than 1 GB and what is the scenario to let us let us check that as well okay so the scenario is two is for if you are uploading video sizes greater than 1 GB all right so my video size is actually less than 1 GB so I am going to follow these instructions so it is asking that add an action step to upload a video on YouTube well I have already performed this particular step now it is asking that after uploading the video use the delay by Pabli action step for eight minutes this is the amount of delay after which we will recheck the video upload status all right so I'm going to do the same so go back to Pabli connect clicking on this button save and send test request and wait for the response all right it is actually taking uh, a time a few seconds all right so the response has been received let us check all right so response result request status it has already initiated and as per the instruction i am going to introduce one more action step here and here i will select delay well delay is an amazing feature of pabli connect using which you can delay your automations at any time at anywhere using this particular function and here as per the instruction i would like to delay this particular automation for eight minutes so that meanwhile the video will get uploaded into this these eight, eight minutes all right so coming back here and i am going to delay this automation for minutes and how many min minutes so i would like to delay it for the eight minutes so that my video can be published in this eight minutes duration clicking on this button save and send test request and wait for the response all right the status is successful and the automation has been delayed for the eight minutes coming back here and let us read one more instructions to check the video upload status use the youtube get video upload status action after the delay step to fetch the final response okay so i'll be doing the same clicking on plus icon and here i am going to select the youtube application once again all right so i have searched for the same and as per the instruction i am going to check the status okay so let us check what was the action step get video upload status action okay i have copied and pasting it here all right so here is that get video upload status which is in beta mode right now i'll be connecting my youtube with the pabli connection with the existing connection click on save and it is asking for the request id so enter the request id that you have received in the response of upload video action step so let us check the response of upload video action step and yes we have actually received the request id which i am going to map here okay so how mapping is going to perform simply click on this particular field and open that particular action step and here is the request id which i have mapped now if i'll click on this button you will see that it will show the response status of the video which we have just uploaded let us check the status or the response let me do the control f and here you can clearly see that the privacy status is public and the youtube response status upload is actually uploaded so this means our video has got uploaded automatically i'll be going to the youtube channel and here i'm going to refresh my youtube channel and let us check whether the same video has been uploaded or not well, you can see that video with the title how to connect to Pabli connect team has been uploaded automatically. Let me check whether the video details are the same and yes, how to con contact Pabli connect team. And now I'm going to open this particular video, whether it has uploaded correctly or not. 
well the video has got uploaded and it is absolutely correct let us check that whether it is the same file or not so here i have my video file url which i am going to check for okay so i am ha i have copied the file url and opening and checking whether it is the same file or not and yes you can see it is the same file so this is how now onwards every time you are going to add the video details in your airtable account it will be automatically uploaded on your youtube channel and for that you'll have to wait for a few minutes let us check because this trigger will check for the new data in every 10 minutes so what will happen your system will go to airtable account and will check for the new data every 10 minutes so it might take at least 10 minutes in order to upload the video or 10 to 20 minutes so don't get bothered just wait patiently and your videos will be surely uploaded automatically now after the successful uploading of your video if you want the published link of your video to be updated automatically here in front of this particular details these particular details you can also do the same you just need to add one more action step here as the air table so I am going to click on this plus icon one last time okay once again and here search for the air table application because this time we want to update the record into the air table application only and here the action event will be since I want to update the record so I'll go with the same here you can see update a specific record and I I just need to update a specific record only basically the specific link only now again we just need to connect our Airtable account with Pabli Connect so this time I'll go with the existing connection because I have already connected my Airtable account with Pabli Connect earlier now it is taking time here you can see it is connected again you will have to select the base and I have the base name as daily YouTube videos so let me search for the same the daily YouTube videos alright it is the same same base daily YouTube videos the table ID well it will be selected automatically as soon as I will select the base now we will have have to search for the we'll have to map the record as well so instead of selecting the record from this drop down I'm going to again map it and mapping for mapping you'll have to first enable this mapping button remove the existing record ID and then I'm going to map the record ID of which particular record basically where I would like to update the details so here I would like to update the details of this particular record so that is why I'm going to map the record ID from here only so this is the record ID I have mapped this, mapped this successfully and now I will only update I will only map that specific detail which I would like to update and here I would like to update the publish video link so I'll be opening this part I'll be clicking on this particular section and then I am going to add the video URL so where is the video URL I'll have to check all right so in this particular action step I might get the video URL for which I'll have to search once and here you can see I have the response result YouTube response video URL okay I have mapped it, mapped it successfully I'm sorry for that clicking on this button save and send test request going back to my Airtable sheet and here I'll have to wait for the link to be updated automatically into this particular this specific record and yes you can see it has updated automatically so this is how with the help of Pabli connect you can create this amazing automation you can start uploading your videos automatically directly from your Airtable records and you just need to set up this automation inside Pabli connect once and after that every time you're going to update the video details into the Airtable the videos will be uploaded automatically I'll also add the shareable link of my workflow into my description box just in case if you want to clone the same workflow which I have created in front of you that can also be cloned into your account you just need to click on that particular link sign up for free in the Pabli connect connect and it will be cloned for free not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with Pabli connect you can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of Pabli connect and for the latest updates of Pabli connect and unique automation ideas you can join our Facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video